Okay, good morning everybody and welcome to a surprise early morning Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth stream. I don't actually have long to stream today, as many of you guys know, yesterday was my birthday. Today is Mario Day, I'm going to Super Nintendo World, I got a whole bunch of stuff I'm doing, but I had to make a little bit of time. I figured I could take my birthday off from the everyday schedule that we've been doing for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I wanted to go live this morning because there was no One Piece chapter. I figured it's the perfect time to do it. Reagan's still at the gym, my parents are still sleeping, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play for about an hour and a half max. Literally, we're locking it down. The second Reagan comes back from the gym... I'm done. So this isn't going to turn into a four hour stream like the other day, how we were like, oh, we're going to stream for an hour and it turned into something else. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. It's going to be a short one. But thank you, by the way, to everybody who's been wishing me happy birthday. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Lots of new first time chatters in here. Uh, we got Vikas and Time Ghost and Fastest Clip. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. You're saying famous last words. No, I mean it. I really am only going to stick to do in a short stream today. All right, let me pop this open. Let's go to my other monitor and let us continue right where we left off. Chapter 12, a golden key. I think the plan, now that we're back in Corel, is to find another little place that I can divine open to get Alexander, actually beat Alexander and get to the golden saucer. I'm like, that's good. We could do that in an hour and a half. And also, since I know a lot of people are asking, yes, I did see the news. Sequel of the Mario movie coming out next year. Luigi's Mansion's gonna be June. And we've got, what was the other thing? It was Mario A Thousand Year Doors May. Perfect timing. April for me is going to be another Crab's Treasure. Probably for the rest of March going into April, we're gonna do Unicorn Overlord. May Thousand Year Door, perfect. All right, here we go. Uh, thoughts on Akira Toriyama. I actually did a video on my YouTube channel. Go check that out. I did a, a little tribute to him. Honestly, I think a big thing in regards to Akira Toriyama that we brought up when actually the news broke when we were doing this stream is that a lot of people obviously think about his influence in like anime and manga, but the man had a massive influence on the gaming world as well, obviously. Like Dragon Quest, supremely popular did the art for all of that, and then in addition to all of that, he did Chrono Trigger, which is one of the best video games of all time, so yeah, shout out to the GOAT. Okay, let us continue, make our way back over there. Now, obviously, I know there's a lot of side quests. I feel like these are ripe for other streams. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know I gotta do it. <laughs> if there's one available, let's do it. Dokacha. All right, at this point, we have destroyed all these other Queen's Blood players. I think we're going to fly through him. Challenge you to a Mac, Dokacha. All right, there's nothing you could say or do. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Rictus. Raise the power by one for each enfeebled or... Okay, that's... I mean, it's fine. That's fine. But honestly, our deck is looking pretty good right now. Hey, thank you, by the way, to Safazon for gifting a subscription. Greatly appreciate it. And saying, uh, our Dragon Quest dev circle in Tokyo was particularly hit hard with Toriyama's passing. I can imagine, again, like, so much of what makes that game good is due to his art, so I can imagine. Also, lovely seeing you over here and saying have a fun day in Super Nintendo World. Thank you. My parents have actually never been. They're in town right now for the first time, and so I'm taking my parents. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna have my little Mario band on. All right, select the cards you wish to mulligan. None, this is a perfect first hand. Let's do it. Play. All right. Yeah, this is literally the perfect first hand. You get the two, you get the riot trooper, you set two, you replace the grand horn. This is great. All right. Oh, this is even better. Look at this. Because then you get the crystalline crab that can boost that one up, steal the other thing if he goes towards the middle. Perfect. We're gonna choke a bow, top row. Let him grab that other one. We get the plus two bonus. Hopefully, yes, perfect. Perfect. Lock him out, take that. He's not ready for us. He's not ready. Because then I'll probably grab that middle one right afterwards. And then he'll be completely blocked out. Uh, or I can grab, no, I want to grab that middle one. I want to lock him out on both sides. He has to go for the top and then I could block him out. And that's easy. Yeah, we've gotten so good at this game now. It's like, <laughs> I feel like I'm near unstoppable at this point. Here we go. Set another one of these guys. Let's do that. Then I'll boost up another power on one of these. Two. Yeah, he has no chance. Take the bottom row. Mute that out. And then finally the top row. 
And that'll call it a day. Look at that. And we even took another one from him. How dirty. All right, we're good, though. Aren't we? I was like, we're not going to get another one. That's fine. We win the row of 13. That's good. Look at that. Great way to start the stream. Great way. Uh, Judao is also saying, this is one of my favorite chapters. Enjoy, Roger. Thank you. Did you already mention if you're going to play Unicorn Overlord? Yes! I actually have a copy on my Switch, so Nintendo sent me a Switch copy, and Atlas sent me a Switch copy, and I've got the PS5 copy, so we absolutely will be playing more. Again, main thing with Unicorn Overlord, we just want to get through Rebirth first. I feel like there's so much good stuff going on right now between the Mario Day announcements, Rebirth, all the new episodes and stuff. It's like, we'll get there when we get there. We will definitely do Unicorn Overlord stuff, but right now, Rebirth is still taking priority. I I'm just not somebody who's good at juggling games. I feel like I'm good at doing one game at a time. Um, thank you, by the way, to all the people saying happy birthday, one of my favorite chapters. Thank you very much. Lots of people coming through this morning. All right, now let's take this guy down. You know what else we should do during this chapter? Because I feel like today is a good day to sort of clean house and, and do some of these side missions we've never done before. We should go to that Cameron guy that we need to be. Wasn't there like a, a guy that unlocks the next level of Queen's Blood? I feel like this might be a good time to go to him. Let's see. Make our way down. Uh, is this a Queen's Blood player in this actual? Oh, no, no, no. Where is this? Rihanna. Oh, behind. I know where this is. I know where this is. Let's hop on one of these wheelies. Oh, I can't push one of those kids off. I was going to be like, get back over Let me get on one of these. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, to How Not for subscribing as well. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. All right, let's make our way back down here. Makes sense that there's another table with another Queen's Bud player. Someone's taking her photo. We're shooting here. Yeah, I don't care. Wait, I want to beat you. Do you <laughs> I don't care if you're shooting, down. Rihanna. An up-and-coming model? All right, you're going down. <laughs> oh, wait. What card is this? Replace an ally and lower the power. Oh, a new replacement card. See, this is honestly what I've needed. I feel like my deck has been so good for so long at this point that I honestly am not really sure like what I could do to enhance it. I feel like having another replacement card is probably the way to go. Like, I like my two three stars, which are the Golem and Ifrit. I feel like have done very well for me. I like the Grand Horn card. I do feel like I could take one of the ones away and replace that with a replacement. Because I feel like having four twos, two threes, and the rest ones are replacements is probably the way to go. Yeah. Dragon Scar also said, this is my first time tuning into you playing Rebirth. Has it met your expectations? Not only has it met them, it has exceeded them beyond all expectation. It is so unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. I have Vanilla working on a compilation video right now of all my reactions. We've been streaming it every single day. I absolutely, positively adore it. All right, here we go. Uh, let's start with this. Do the Riot Trooper. He'll create a three on the bottom. See this. Got the Moogle and Chocobo. That's fine. Very good. And then I'll probably put the Hellraiser in the middle and do the Mithril Golem on the other side. Or. No, no, no. Let's do that. Let's do. Uh, well. See, I don't want him to take that other one. But maybe that's the right way to do it. Because then I could just block him out of that row. He's going to put a one there. Okay. Oh. That's fine. Okay. Because then he'll place another one and then I could do the golem and we'll win that bottom row. Nice. Okay. I'm fine with this. But. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's do this. Get four. He has to take the one over there or the one in the middle. Or the one in the back. He could do the one in the back. Nice. I'll lock him out. Two. Two. And then obviously we'll place the golem and win the bottom row. Plus we'll get the plus two. Shallopod or revive that. That's fine. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to topple him with just that though. 10 plus three, 13 versus five. Because he's about a plus five. Hold on a minute. Let me restart. Let's do this one again. I was talking for a little bit. Let me redo this. Um, also, 
I'm seeing somebody saying, I'm excited to also finally play Mario Golf and Tennis on Game Boy Color next week on NSO. Yeah, I saw they added that as well. That's awesome. That was also not something I was expecting at all. I felt like we were pretty much done with Game Boy NSO games. There wasn't really anything else I could think of. But then when they said that, I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense, obviously. We already have the N64 Mario Golf and Mario Tennis. My main question is if those are going to interact with the ones that are already on N64 so you can unlock the other characters that are in the game. That would be awesome. Um, I don't want to play Shiva just yet. I don't really want to place the Hellraiser either. But I feel like I kind of have to. We've got six plus three. Moogle Trio. The problem is that doesn't create another one where I need it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, maybe I let him take it then. Maybe I let him take this. Wait. Because then I'll create one on the bottom, take the other one, unless he places it... Which he didn't. Cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we got this. Or, wait a minute. I could even do one step further. I could make a two there. Mm, no, let's do this. Block him out. He'll have to take the one that's on the top and the left. Yeah, there we go. All right, I got six in the middle row. I'll boost up to two to get eight. We have the other Moogle. He'll probably place in the middle to try to take it. He didn't. Oh, okay. I see what he did. Let's restart this one again. Where was the NSO announcement? It was on the uh, the video that Nintendo posted this morning announcing that there's going to be a new Mario movie and announcing uh, the release dates for Luigi's Mansion and for Thousand Year Door. All right. We're doing a crab. Maybe I'll do a security officer towards the middle, a crab up top. And then replacement. Or sec ah, let's do this actually. Because then if he takes that middle one and goes for it, I can replace with the Grand Horn and then boost up the other two. Yes, good. Good, good, good. That'll work out. Bam, there we go. All right. And then Shiva, I can block out on the other side, create four on every other front. Riot Trooper can take that one. I also don't really want to place that there, though. Block him out. Perfect. He has to go with that or that. I'll block him out with the crab. Boost up my middle one. And then I'll do Arch Dragon and then Shiva to wipe the rest. And that'll knock down the other one too, which is good. Create a green. That might not have been the best thing for me because now he's gonna place something else and boost them up. But for the most part, I think it's gonna be okay because Mughal Trio is gonna do plus two. I'll summon another two. I'll put them both up there. Or I'll create Shiva. Oh. What happened there? That was weird. I'll take that one. Blocked out. Unless he creates one that goes up by two. Oh, because he's got the replacement one. I forgot about that. Ooh. That's scary stuff. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. I can block him out with that one. Do I have anything that reaches down? I don't I don't see anything. And I know I'm winning that row. Raise the power of allied cards and affected tiles by two. That's good. Is that, yeah, there we go. We got this now. Perfect, perfect. All right, we got where we needed to go. And then finally two. Best bet's probably Shiva. All right. Easy. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. All right, end match. That was pretty good for the most part. All right, third Queen's Blood, Alexander. Do not let me get off track today. I got a plan. I want to succeed with the plan today. <laughs> Boost our Queen's Blood up. We got the Diabolic variant. That is going straight in my deck. That card is awesome. All right, I also love that there was the little umbrella stand for <laughs> Cloud Sword to lean against it. That was awesome. Thank you, by the way, to Clax for gifting a sub. Greatly appreciate that. All right, let's do equipment. 
Or actually, it's card deck, right? Card deck. Here we go. Card decks, edit deck. And then let's take out... I feel like those heat seekers are better than the security officer. Crystalline Crab and Arch Dragon are both so good. I like having two, two, and two of each. And I like the four, and I like that the Moogle Trio creates two more ones. So I'm going to get rid of the security officer and add the new one that we just got. Which is the Replacement Diabolic. The Geese Spectre, I forgot we have that one too. But see, that only does... It goes like in a corner side right there. I like this one. I'm going to do Bo Diabolic Variant. And maybe instead of Shallopod, I do another Replacement. Because that only does one and boosts up to... I feel like have another Replacement card. What does the Toad do? Three? Destroy an allied card and replace it. Okay. Three. Affected. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards unaffected. No, I like just having the option of the Toad. And the Toad's cool because then we got the we got the ties with Naruto and everything. We're gonna put him in there. Alright. Back, perfect. Nice to play QB while Get out of here. And then where is that Cameron guy? Let's go to quests real quick. World map quests. L2. Sage of the Seaside Inn. That's one of the side quests. Rendezvous complete. Cameron. Where is Cameron? Because it says he's on the map and listed as four. And it says he's in this region. Where in Corel could he be? Unless, um, maybe he's in the Golden Saucer, which we're going to anyway. Cameron, where are you, Cameron? I feel like I should put my glasses on. Let's see. Cameron. There's another tower that we got to get to. Another fiend. I feel like a lot of this area we can actually fully explore now. Which is good. Uh, yeah, the wild thing is I don't see him really. Hmm. Maybe if I zoom in. I see the six, but I don't see the four. All right. Let's go to Mahir. Take him out real quick. And then we'll make our way over to get some of those intels so I can get Alexander. How about that? And Alexander's weak to Thundara, if I remember correctly. I still never thought that I would ever have Bahama before getting Alexander. I never would have thought. What's this guy doing? He's a boxer? You want a piece of me or something? Yeah, I'll destroy you. Easy now. I didn't mean it like that. You don't need to be so on edge. Okay. Though some call me the child of the sun. I'm training to be a boxer. Okay, I don't care about your life story. I just want to beat you in Queen's Blood. There we go. Clack says, uh, I've been following you since June 11th, which is the day after my birthday, so I felt like gifting a sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That's very nice of you. Uh, 2C Soldier Operator. Raise the power of allied cards by three while the cards are in play. You got it. Okay, let's keep going. Play this our heat seeker there so we won't get destroyed we'll put our crab up there we'll do a plus two we'll replace with diabolic variant when i need to uh i actually think i'm gonna place my crab here first to do plus three so then he goes towards the middle row very good perfect lock him out nice that'll be powered up i can place a shiva there Two and one. Arch Dragon. Lock him out again. He has to go for that far one. Okay, that's going to boost to a two. Moogle Trio is actually perfect for this because I'm going to have a one and a one that can block him out. And I can boost. I'm going to put that boost one up there. Uh, oh, I don't want to place that one just yet. 
but I can take this one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's obviously going to want to take that one back. Okay. Oh. All right. Fighting fire with fire. Let's do this. Place Arch Dragon 4. Yeah, he's not going to be able to place any of the cards. We'll call it a day there. Place the Moogle. I could do a replacement. Plus two, plus two. Look at this, man. Wiping him out. We'll get the Posh Chocobo because we're going to win that row. Diabolic Variant. Oh, no, that's going to destroy that one. No, I don't want to do that. Well, that'll boost. Let's do this to six. Then I can place a two. Shiva's little ice, and then we'll call it a day. Look at that. Boom. Summon. Great. Complete washout, man. Yeah, dude, that, those new replacement cards are really good. I love that toad. Thank you, by the way, to Thickful for gifting a sub as well. Greatly appreciate it. Nah, comma. Man, lots of you guys are showing up for these morning streams. I guess you figure, hey, there's not a One Piece chapter this morning. I'll watch Roger on Twitch. So thanks for coming through, man. I was not expecting to have over, <laughs> over all these new subs and viewers and stuff. This is great, man. Thank you very, very much. And now I can get back to All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now let me see. Let's go to Intel right now. Let's look for Cameron and go to Intel. Go to the world map. Two out of five, Corel region. Let's maybe go here first. So we're gonna go to this cache location. Fast travel to the zip line. Climb through there. Get that little one. Open up the rest. We already have our chocobo. It's probably gonna let us explore now that we have the boat. The question was, I don't remember how to get over there. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did that owl just go? I just saw him. Oh, here he is. 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 Where are you leading us? This way? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to attack you. I'm sorry, Mr. Shallopod. Sorry about that. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Get out of the way. Perfect, perfect. Don't overdo it. Ward shed. Whoop. Tifa. Yeah, I feel like, man, my whole squad is so strong at this point. I don't really know what else I need to do in order to adjust them. I feel like even all their weapons and everything, so long as we just keep leveling up. I feel like we'll be ready for the end in no time. Alright. Genuinely curious what's going to happen if I buy Switch Online plus expansion deck through April and the next system comes out, whether it'll transfer over. Uh, I think the NSO stuff, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the NSO stuff is going to transfer over. I think they mentioned something like when they put together the Nintendo accounts that things are going to carry over for the next system. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I, I'm pretty sure they said that before. You can do it. Unfettered Fury, dive kick, knock him out. Perfect. All right. Make our way back up here. Now, where where did that owl guy go? There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, I never would have seen this spring in a million years. That was completely hidden. Alright, analyze the life spring. Get more world intel. Here we go. The manifestation. And one. Two. And three. Perfect. Included Grotto, fantastic. Double Life Spring data. I'm sure, it's gonna give me another one. Cloud, by Analyst, I was able to locate an old Republic. Republic transmuters, okay. Valve Factory Ruins. Which is, I mean, where we were anyway. We've been there multiple times at this point. Some ancient bark. Let's look back at the map. Because I also want to... 
I haven't done that Moogle area yet, and I feel like I want to unlock this. So let's fast travel over to the Chocobo. I forgot we have the buggy now, too. Man, oh man. Alright, isn't there a way to get up here? Let's see. Valve Factory Room. I guess while we're here, I guess we could excavate. Let's see. No, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. I'm not ready for all this, Johnny. We've done this. No, 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 no. I don't want to work for you right now. No, Johnny. Wait. Wait, I don't want to do that yet. Hold on. Let's get out of here. Everything much faster if we cloned ourselves, too. <laughs> no. Just think. All right, the Moogle's up a here. Franchise. And I could even help you set up a branch in Wutai. Plus, Shimmer wouldn't stand a chance against a cloud army. Yeah, I didn't want to activate the Johnny quest just yet. Yeah, we can definitely right. go up here and get this Moogle. Oh, come on. Just imagine. There's so many open areas in Corel that I just One missed. Cloud. I think it was probably because we were trying Two to get through clouds. the story and I felt like I was getting backed up. Four clouds. But the fact that we have more unlocked in Gongaga and all these other regions, probably even in Nebel than we do in Corel. By the way, Roger, there's a huge section of Gongaga that the game never requires you to go to and I was more impressed at how big the game is. Dude, this game is just unreal. I keep mentioning it time and time again, but it really is unreal. The Please amount of stuff that you can do in it is just me, perfect. Kobo. All right. We have a ticking clock this time around. Okay. We got to rush. Who's the closest? We'll go to Moog. Uh-oh. Watch out for the bombs. Bum, bum, ba -da, bum, bum, bum. And he already got me. Go on in. There's one. Molulu will save for last. Uh-oh. Got little gates and stuff. Uh-oh. If I can get two and one, that would be lovely. They'll fly on over. Come on, Moki. Uh-oh. Leave me be. Go, 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 go. No, Moki. Moki, get back here. Moki! Okay. Took me out twice, man. That's not good. This one also seems to be lacking in whirlwinds. I guess I got three minutes, though. I should be able to do this. That's a couple little moogles to me if I'm going to defeat Sephiroth. All right. There we go. Get on in there. Mosh. Mosh, get over here. Mosh. Uh-oh. More. See, the lack of whirlwinds is really taking me out on this one. All right. Mosh. And I already got hit twice, so I got to be super careful. One more hit and I'm dead. All right. I think we can do this, though. There's only two. Molulu and Molala. This one's got whirlwinds too, so I feel like we could probably make this work. All right. Molulu, come over here. Two, go in the whirlwind. Nope. Stay back. Molulu, go in there. Nice. Hold him down. Now, obviously, he's gonna escape from us. But so long as I'm able to take him before he goes over the bridge, we should be good to go. Go on, Molulu. And if I'm close enough, he's... Oh, wait, they can send stuff out while they're in the house still? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Molulu. I might not be able to do this in the time limit. Go, 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 go. One, okay, last one, last one. Maybe we will. Oh, la la, is there a wind will over there? Let's see, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, la la. No, oh no. All right, retry. I'll go for him first then. No, I don't need to lower the difficulty. Of... The game says, do you want to enter baby mode? Are there little baby moogles too hard for you? Are you struggling with the baby moogles? No, I'm fine, all right? Let me live my life game, okay? Over here. <laughs> you want to lower the difficulty. That is just... That is vile. That is really vile. 
of all the things in the game to lower the difficulty for, for it to say, you need the difficulty lowered on rounding up baby Moogles, bro. Terrible. All right. All right, go. I'm gonna go for the other one that's on the other side too. All right. Round up the Mooglets. Over here. Bum, bum, bum. I'm not even gonna bother to go in the whirlwind unless he accidentally trips into it. Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's why you went too far. Here, just go across, buddy. Come on. Go, Molulu, go. Yeah, easy enough. I don't need to catch you. I'm rounding you up. All right. One, oh, my gosh. The bombardment. All right, here we go. Two more. Moog motion mo. Smokey, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Watch out for the bomb. Oh no. Hit the mushroom again. Alright. A little more. Go, 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 go. Get in there. Get in there. Stop, bro. Come on. Get in. Oh no, this is dangerous. The banana peels everywhere. No more. Come on, let's not do this. Go, 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 go. Oh, if I can get them both at once, that'll save me a lot of time. And actually, if they stick together, that might be good. Here we... Oh, no, 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 no. Climb back up. Come on, Cloud. No. 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 Come on, dude. How do you have unlimited magic? Go. No! Oh! They're trolling me. These baby Moogles. Alright. Last time. We don't do it this time. We're moving on. I'll come back later. Alright, Molella. Go, 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 go. No. No. Back here. Come back here. Go. That one didn't count. That one didn't count. See, now I feel like the ones that are further away are the easier ones. And I want to get these two out of the way first. Climb back up. Drop the bomb. Oh. There we go. Obviously, you gotta watch out for those bombs to explode. Nice. One of them out of there already. These were the little twins. Gather earlier. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Don't keep throwing wind at me. Go. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Cloud. All right, come on, come on. Go, go, oh. Dude, what the heck? I just keep running into him. All right, Moki, come on, bro. Moki, stay in there. Mosh. I have to. Now the game is trolling me at this point. I have to do it. No, I'm not gonna lower the difficulty of the Moogles. This mischief level five, it's too much, man. I'm not able to handle this much mischief. I'm a good kid, okay? I can't deal with this much trolling. There we go. I think the other thing is I'm, I'm almost rushing a little bit and I keep running into stuff like that. Malala. It seems like the trick is to get them running in a straight direction, you almost have to, like, roll as you're walking towards them. There you go. Go, go, go. Going over there. There you go. Go on in. Come on. There we go. One. 
Watch out for that. Let the bombs explode. There we go. Oh. Two. Go, 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 go. Watch out. Perfect. Two down. I got this now. I'm feeling it. This is the run. This is the run the Moogles are going down. Oh. How dare he dance in front of me like that. All right. Two. Three. Okay, go. Two. Three. Go. No, 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 no. He ran too quick. Two. Three. One. Go. All right. Good stuff. Two more. Go on, Moki. Yeah, I'm not playing games anymore. Moki, I need to get you out of here. These bombs, too, man. Go, Moki. Go. Get in there. Perfect. All right. One more. One more. One more. Where is the last one? Moki Molala Molulu Mosh. All right, here we go. Molulu. Walk him into the little thing in the whirlwind. Go in there. Nice. Old L2. Nice. Now I just got to push him. Go back. Go. That down 117. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I have one minute to get him back. And I don't want to use that whirlwind because I'll accidentally. Oh, come on, hurry. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. A little more. Oh my gosh, this is coming down to the wire. This is coming down to the wire. No. I have to go around the other way. Oh my gosh. Get in there! Go, go, go! Ooh. Thanks so much. Get out of here. I never want to see you little moogles ever again. <laughs> that was brutal! Man, oh man, oh man. But this is good, because we've actually gathered up a lot of Moogle medals. We could probably buy a bunch of stuff now. Let's see. What do you guys have in the mug shop here? Train. Way the Fist. Very good. Buying that. Fortunes and Cold. Buying that. I'll leave the other ethers. I don't need those just yet. And now, we need more of the Diviner stuff. Which direction is that in? This way? Let's see. Maybe we go to the expedition tower over here. From this desert waypoint, and then we'll climb our way around on the chocobo. Well, we have the buggy, though, too, now. I forget that we have the buggy now. There's the tower. I see it. All right, get some goodies, amethyst, zinc, ore. Yeah, because I think if we're able to unlock the diviner tower, I mean, if we're able to unlock the regular towers, we'll find the diviner spot, we'll make Alexander weaker, we'll wipe him out, we'll finally be done with that side quest, and then we can make our way to the golden saucer. And I do think we can do it. I'm feeling pretty good. All right, let's go, club. <laughs> Nice, good stuff. Go here. I'll take care of them. Here it comes. Radiant Ward. Which has got to be one of the most broken abilities when you can just spam prey and boost up all your ATB stuff. All right. Oh, I don't have, I don't have prey right now. Wait a minute. Prey. Nice, good work. Go, 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 Tifa. Dive kick. Nice. Braver. Very, very good. Come 
Come on, Aerith. Pressure him. Very, very nice. Very nice. Up the tower we go. Oh, right. This is the one you have to actually climb up the mountain to get there, right? Yes, 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 yes. I remember this. Didn't, yeah, we saw this earlier. That's why we didn't do this one. It's like we have to find the right way to climb up it. Now how do we get there? Do we glide? Oh, the buggy! The buggy, that's right. The buggy, the buggy, the buggy, the buggy, the buggy. Keep forgetting that I have that. Uh, buggy. Call the buggy. Can I ride the buggy here? What do you mean? I can't call the buggy here and then pull it up and then use it as a stepping stool? Oh no, there we go. I can't. I can't. Or maybe do I climb around the other way? Wasn't there something where you could use it as a stepping stool? Hmm. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. Get out of here. Wait a minute. Exit the buggy. That's what I was missing before. Also, I have to put Prey back under Aerith's combat settings instead of Sorcerer's Storm. I use it so much, and I think ATB Ward is great. Great. There we go. There we go. All right. Make our way back up. Two, three, four, five, six. Grapple on up. Fantastic. There we go. Get our Moogle medals. Fantastic. And unlock the tower. Perfect! Show me a Diviner Station, please. Show me Diviner Station for Alexander. Please, 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 please. Please. I'm praying like Aerith prays, please. I had to get through some Moogles to get here. Please. We got one. We got one. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, the question is... How do we get to that? Divine intel to it. Looks like we have to go up a bridge or something. Maybe we walk around this way? Okay. Let's make our way down. I knew there was going to be one, man. That's great. Alright. Now, yeah, it looks like there's a pipe that we're going to have to go across. My assumption is that it leads up here. I could, I literally, I see it back there too. I think we probably have to walk along the pipe and up into where that mountain is. And I think that's where my, that's my pin, right? Right over there. Or is that another tower that we just haven't unlocked yet? Oh, no, because we're looking that direction. We need to go that direction. Mm. How do I get up there in some of these mountains? We climb up this? Oh, no, there's the... So that is what we have to do. We're probably going to have to climb up there. And then... Walk across that little thing, and that should take us to the divider thing. Okay. Yeah, we're good then. We're good. We're good. We're making good time. Alright, Aerith, you already know what I need you to do. Radiant Ward. Whoops, hold on. Aerith, go, go, go. And pray. Pressure him. Very good. Keep our squad healed. Good. 
Ray. Thrust. Perfect. Luck up materials improved. Lovely. Yeah, here's the station. So I'm assuming there's going to be like a little thing I can walk up to get there. And I bet you on the way walking over there, we're probably going to see one of those little blocks that we hit. Um, let's see. How do you get up there? Good for the yellow paint. Gonna climb. Yeah, it's it's right on the other side of this mountain. Or maybe it's on the inside of the mountain. We won't even have to climb anything. But that looks too uh I don't know, hold on. It's gonna lead us in a different direction. We buggy up on the other side. Because I'm not seeing a hole in the mountain or anything, unless it's on the very, very top. Did we go the back way around? Oh, this looks climbable. No? Maybe not? I can't climb? Huh. about now? No. I almost feel like there's going to be a hole in the mountain or something. Here, let's see. Climb up. No. To be fair, we haven't really unlocked any of this yet. This might help us get to the top. We'll just walk around and explore. Oh yeah, I don't think I've even been over here. This is like a whole new area. Whoa. Is this the back side of how we got to Gongaga? Rugged Shoals, Corel Shore. I don't I don't think we've been here. Really look familiar. Happy belated birthday, Roger. Thank you very much, Dark Steel. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I had a lovely day yesterday. All right. Yeah, let's keep climbing a little bit. This is the airstrip, which obviously we have been to. Hmm. Here, you know what? Let's maybe do this. We can't necessarily get to this one. There might be another one this way. Let's go on this chocobo stop. Oh, that's already locked. We can't do that. I'm here. Fast travel buggy, and we'll drive our way over there. We'll see. That takes us in a different direction. Come with this. And the buggy really is fast. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this... Oh, my dual sense is low. Maybe this is where we go to get to the upper level. Because this whole thing's elevated. Hmm. Also, not seeing that on the tower. Oh, it's up there. Oh. Oh, interesting. And again, how do you get up there? Drive our way through and around. Be through here. Ah, yeah, okay. Make our way up. Stone Arch Tower. Let's do this. Oh, and there's actually another little thing that we can unlock over here, too. Great. Get out of the buggy. See if this is one of those situations where we could actually avoid the fight in front of the tower and just climb up here. Ah, right! 
Look at that. First stream here, by the way, and I heard it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, music. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very kind. Everyone's being so nice. Coming through with belated birthday announcements. Thank you very much. By the way, you enter that divine sanctuary from the north. You actually have what you need to access it. Oh! Oh, really? That's good to know, class. From the north. Oh, and there's the second divine one. Okay. Okay. Let's make our way down then. Maybe we get to this one? Rel Desert Waypoint. Fast travel. Do we enter this one from the north? I mean, we're going this way anyway. We might as well... If we're on this tower, we could buggy right over there. Actually, if, to be fair, now that we know where both of them are, we can just do both. Here, let's see. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Get on down here. We have fiend intel on the way, too. Might as well get this. Clear up more of our world quests. Death from below. Not a problem. Let's do it. Stagger them and don't get swallowed. Okay. Oh, well, that's too late. We already did that. Alright. Radiant Ward. Go on, Aerith. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. Critical. Ooh, come on. Good stuff, Cloud. Firebolt. Ooh, ooh. Come all up, Cloud. Ooh. Items. Let's do Phoenix down. And then, so long as she doesn't get swallowed, pray. Come on, oh, come on, Aaron. Pray, pray, pray. Nice, nice. Very good. Pressure. Maximum fury. We got this. Pressure on up. One. And another one. Done. Got a theme Dendel on the way there. Perfect. Alright. The southern one that you enter from the north um, is a bit tricky for how you enter it. Alright, I will be on the lookout then. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty close, so. I think we'll be okay. Maybe it's inside of this thing? This giant cactus? I figured there was something up with this the first time that I saw it. Let's see. Is that actually meant to be a cactus? Is that meant to be like giant grown over Mako? Let's see. No. Oh, Cactuar. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Is it in there? Oh, no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. This is something else entirely. Let's go a whole separate little side quest over here with Cactuars. Remind me to do that later. All right. Now, it looks like there's a life spring over here, too, that we might as well grab. Assuming when we enter from inside this pipe. No? We shall see. And there's another tower. Oh, 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 yeah. This is the one you jump down from. I remember seeing this one with the buggy and then we just didn't end up doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to get on, like, the lower level to get down there. How do you enter from there? On the other side? We don't do that. Maybe we just head... the other direction. 
Well, see, in that case, if we're going the other direction, we're already going on a lower level anyway. Use that to get down there. Here we go. Here's the tunnel. We'll call the buggy for this one. Drive our way over. All right. We'll make our way down. I know the owl's gonna lead us down here already. Whoops. I love the music that plays during the buggy, man. It's so good. All right, all the way down. Perfect, get out of here. Pick up all this good stuff. All right, get all these goodies. And then after this, we really are going after the Divider one. This is my absolute last little side quest. Before we do that, we need to. How are you doing today? I am doing lovely. I had a lovely birthday yesterday. I'm playing Final Fantasy. I'm playing my game of the year early in the morning. I'm going to Nintendo World later. I'm hanging out with my family. It's been lovely. Absolutely lovely. Thank you for asking. All right, Water Main Life Spring. Let's do this. Tale of the Klein. We got more region intel. All right, now let's zoom our way back up. Hop back in the buggy. Zoom our way back up the way we came. And then, <laughs> they're gonna get over him, clicking the little fob, it's great. All right. And, let's see, world quests. Oops, wrong thing. So we're going in this way. We're already aiming in that direction. Do you, maybe do you go under? For this? It looks like you you might. Are we already in the right spot for it? Oh, wait a minute. Or is it up here? Seems like it might be on the inside. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. How do you get up there? Alexander appears to render his righteous judgment. His pronouncements are absolute and cannot be defied. Parents sometimes tell misbehaving children that Alexander might come and smite them if they refuse to shake him up. <laughs> Parents tell them they might smite him. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Now I see it. I see how it could have been tricky because you have to hit the rock and then grapple over. I see, I see, I see. There we go. Finer hit this thing. Zoom our way over and around. Two. A little more that way. Three. Then I'm assuming we can just go right out of that rock. Yep. Good stuff. All right. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good stuff. Oh, and there's the little cactuar. All right, we're not gonna attack him right now, though. We're gonna go inside the Alexander Sanctuary. Finally. Okay. Here we go. Honestly, since we know where both of them are, we might as well do both of them. Since we are here. All right. Circle, square, circle, circle. Okay, let's do it. Square, circle, circle. Square, circle, circle. Synchronization complete. Make him weak, wipe him out. Perfect. Because I just, I want to make sure we beat him today. That's my main thing. Happy belated birthday, Roger. Thank you, Ice Climber. And thank you, Jawa. Appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words. Thanks to you. All right, we're good. We got more, more data on the materia. Let's make our way over here to this one. And I know we entered this one from the north. So let's fast travel. I bet you it's probably this way. Let's go here. 
It will zoom around, grab it. All right, and I actually see a little excavation point over here that we might be able to grab while we're here anyway. Not too far. They're literally both on the way. That'll get me higher up. Happy belated birthday, by the way, Roger. My birthday is on Tuesday the 12th. Look at that. You know, there was somebody else in my chat who actually said their birthday was the 10th, so today. A lot of people with the same birthdays around here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Climb on up. Here we are. Here we are. Make our way over. This will bring us to the elevated area. Unless the life spring is down that way. Not seeing it. It's in this little hole. Oh, yeah, look at this. Great. Man, we are getting a lot of intel done on today's stream. Wow. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Alexander's going down. Alexander's going down. Plus, we have all this new party stuff. This is going to be great. Now, as for who I'm going to bring, I think I'm going to do Kate Sith, Barrett, Cloud. Or Aerith... Cloud. Barrett Cloud. One of the two. But Barrett seems like perfect for it, considering Thundara. Did you have a great birthday yesterday? I did. It was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Alright, we got a new transmuter part. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, Alright. Now let's place this, because I think that's going to climb me back up again. To get to where we need to go for this last Alexander. Because see how this is all like an excavation area? I'm betting this is the way we need to go that we were missing before to climb up the mountain. I knew there had to be something like this that I was missing earlier. The only thing is I'm not seeing like a place I can grapple up. Well, it seems relatively basic. Rel Desert Waypoint. Maybe this? Is there a way to climb up there? Uh oh, who are we fighting? Cyclone Drake! Alright, get him out of here. Firebolt Blade! Perfect! Come on, Barrett! Maximum Fury! Very good. And I see the little divine intel marker, so we're definitely close. Yes, 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 yes. Because now we just need to basically make it so that Alexander can guaranteed be beaten today. Because we've, we've waited too long at this point. All right. There we go. I really, really like Alexander. I mean, who wouldn't? A giant robot. I sometimes contemplate doing something wicked in the hopes I might get to see him up close. What? So, to say, I await your next exciting discovery with bated breath. Cloud, I really, really like Alexander. Okay, Chadley. <laughs> He's got a crush on a giant robot. All right, come on, let's do this. Really, really? <laughs> circle X, circle. Circle X, circle. Okay. Circle X, circle, circle X, circle. Circle X, circle, circle X, circle. Nice. You're going down, Alexander. Finally. Extracted all the data. We are going to make him so weak. All right. Summon crystal data. Perfect. Maxed it out. I was like, his screen's frozen? What happened? Did Alexander smite him? All right, you know what we're doing now. Back to Chadley. Here we go. Make our way on over. The rent a bird stables. Fast travel. And Alexander is finally going down today. I love that, by the way, Roger just did a Frankie arm spin before pointing at the robot dude. 
Super going down. All right. Here we go. We have Thundara. We have my main squad. Let's go. I assume you saw that. I'm keeping a close. We must proceed with care. I look forward to seeing what you discoveries you make in your travels. Here we go. I hope to create a ship of my own one day. Hopefully, the Alexander Materia is as good as it's uh, been hyped up to be since we've been putting this off for so long. And it's been so difficult. All right, maxed out. Alexander Materia, power down, considerably weaker. Cloud, Barrett, Aerith. We're going to start there. That way, Aerith could just do radiant, um, the radiant thing. And then I can spam. Cloud can assess. I think we actually already have assessed it before. All right, so anyway, here we go. Don't overdo it. Don't worry about it. You guys know what you gotta do. We're all aiming for the right arm first. Here we go, here we go. 35 hours later, we're finally taking him out. Oh yeah, this is way better. Way, 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 way better. Here we go, keep it up. Bells. We'll do thunder. Uh oh. Ignore that. Pray. A little more. Go for the arm. Tracking beam. That's fine. Get out of there. And pray. Perfect. The war cloud. Go for it, take out the arm. That'll do it, all right. Go for all this. If I could do double thunder, that would be lovely. Get these spears out of here. Pray, spell, left arm, go. Firebolt blade, very nice. I think that's the other thing. Since the last time we fought Alexander, we didn't have Firebolt Blade, and I feel like that is incredibly good against him. Because you could just keep sort of floating in the sky. Barret can fury. Aerith. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pressure him, pressure him, pressure him. Stay there. Get out of there, Cloud. Get out of there. Now, thankfully, I have Rays as well now, too, which I didn't have before. There we go, there we go. Pressure him. Because as soon as he staggers, we'll just go for multiple synergy attacks. Here we go. Nice. All right, Limit. Let's do Healing Wind. Cloud, let's do Synergy Ability Firework Blade. Bear it. Hold this down. Very nice. Critical damage. Overcharge. Great. A little more. Synergy ability. Sweet and sour salvo. She auto cast shell. That's lovely. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. And we got double summons. We'll have Bahamut. Bear it. We do another synergy ability. Sweet and Sour Salvo. Switch back to Cloud. Man, oh man, oh man. It feels wild that we're finally gonna be able to do this now too. All right, here we go. Bringing his arms back, that's fine. Right arm, left arm. Firebolt Blade. Barret, go wild. Aerith, get back over here. And Radiant. Push your prey and boost us all up. There we go. Grand Laser, get out of there. Two. Three. Come on, Aerith. Hang in there. Hang in there. A little more, a little more. And obviously, once she prays, Cloud can go in there. Attack a little bit and summon Bahamut. Oh no. Uh oh, wait a minute. Who has Bahamut? Uh oh, SpaghettiO. Did I mess up? I think I might have. Hold on, Barrett. 
Bring this back in. Wipe out the pillar of light. Go for Alexander. Synergy abilities, summon. Titan. Let's just do Titan, yeah, why not? Do a little bit of damage. Alexander's weakened, so I feel like we should be good. All right. Then let's see. Now, if I get Aerith's synergy ability, I can't do anything yet. Cloud. Let's do spells. Put bravery on myself. And bravery on Barret. Nice. Once he gets both up, we'll do Thundaga. Oh, actually, he just has his regular one right now. Wait a minute, that's not good. Thunder. Uh oh, Aerith, 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 you cannot die. Divine Judgment's gonna knock me out. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Aerith! Not good, not good, not good. Hold on, Cloud. Not good, not good, not good. Spells, not good. I don't have any items. Kiraja on Aerith. And hopefully this is fast enough, because I've got rays. This will probably still kill Aerith, but honestly, I feel like we're, we're probably gonna live still. Yes, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, nowhere near as scary now that he's been weakened. We're all right. Go for the arm. Yeah, nowhere near as scary. Great. Pressure him. Maximum fury. Get out of there. Come on. Ward shift. Summon ability. Synergy ability. I don't have anything yet. Spell. Maybe just the thunder. Drop it on him. All right, here we go. Firework blade. And then, I think by the time we pressure him, I'll probably have my limit. And then we'll be good to go. All right, Grand Laser, get out of there. Ooh, not good. Nice, let's go, Titan. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Pressure him, perfect. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole, Alexander, Aerith, here we go, easy, we got him, finally, 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 after all this time, da 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 da, Alexander's down, four star Alexander Materia, lovely. That thing is gonna be nightmarish now. Congratulations on defeating, and now his divine protection is yours to call upon right. on your death. I so now, the here we, who are we gonna give him to? Ongoing hunt for world intel. I'm assuming he's probably lightning, right? Let's see, Tifa. Do you not have anybody? Tifa. Alexander, summon level plus two, grand laser alert, nice. Oh, so that's probably how we're gonna get Giga Flare with Bahamut, Yuffie, Kate Sith, give that back. Okay, Cloud, HP up, HP up, Phoenix. Yeah, these are all great. Still leveling up all of these. These are all still being leveled up too. Perfect. Great job. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. All right, now let's see if we can find that Cameron that we need to level up. Queen's blood. Because he should be around here somewhere. Cameron, where are you, Cameron? Because obviously this is the golden saucer. I'm not seeing Cameron. Places of interest. North Corral. He's not there. I'm Shell Beach. See, it's listed on my map. I just have no idea where he could possibly be. And the only other place I could think of is maybe... Biff, Chadley. Like, is he here? Is he in the Undercity, maybe? Hmm. 
We do have a fiend intel over here we haven't done. We can maybe do this. Fiend intel three. Rest spot. Let's go here. Because this is the prison. What else are you doing before continuing the story? The plan is to get all of my summons at the very least. And then continue the story and then once... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think I went the wrong direction. Let's go back the other way. Um, and then once I get all my summons, then I can go do the gold saucer date, continue, and then we're going to do the other side quests before getting to the end of the game. So, like, all the little side quests that opened up in this area, I feel like it's worth doing them because it seems like it's a lot of interesting lore and it's honestly just fun and I think it'll be helpful to level up. Also, we have all this folio stuff we can get now. Tifa... Let's see, let's level up one of these. Electric Impulse for Tifa. Let's do Kate Sith. Man, I'm so happy I finally got Alexander. That makes me so happy. All right. Um, does he not have anything for 10? Are all his 15? Oh no, he does. Jetstream. Who's left for the summon? Uh, the one from Gongaga? And I think that's it. I think it's literally just the one in Gogaga is the only one we need. All right. Now, how do I get out of here to where I know there's going to be another location? This is easy to tell. I'm assuming I can't call the buggy here. Oh, no. I can. Never mind. He <laughs> clicked his little fob. We're good to go. All right. Off we... Unless I have to... Oh no, here we go. Here we go. It's climbing. Come on. Oh, the bear, it's just chilling in the back. The Nibelheim. Oh, the Nibelheim one, I think we already got. That was Bahamut, right? I think we got. Oh no, no, Nibelheim was Odin, isn't it? So we need to do Odin and Bahamut. All right. And here's obviously the other area we need to go in that we missed earlier. Where there's going to be fiend intel. Right? Top of the picking order. Okay, let's go. Which is also good because we already have Barret at the ready. Don't get stunned. Stagger an enemy. Okay. You already know we're going to do this. Wow. Firebolt Blade. Take him out. Fantastic pressure. Maximum Fury. Nice, these guys are going down quick. Radiant Ward on Aerith. And once we do this, get out of here. We'll pray. Hold them all down, doing critical damage. Nice, good work, Cloud. Firebolt Blade, one, two. There we are. Barret. ba ba da 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 Maximum Fury. It actually might be kind of difficult in the time limit that we have. Let's see. Spells. Can I do Arrow? Nice, nice. Another one, Arrow. 26 seconds to do this. Come on. No Fiend can stand against you. Fantastic. Braver. This is gonna be close. 19 seconds. I don't know if we can do this. 16, 15. Okay, at least we're all aimed on one now. Pressure. 10. 9. Oh man! 8. Ooh! 7. 6. Ooh! We got all three! Yes, yeah, good! Good, 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 good! Wow, down to the five second mark on that one too. I see Clax going, yes, Roger. Thank you very much for the kind words. That Whoa, that was impressive work. All right, skewer it, let's go. Oh. All right, we made our way through. Now, this is a chocobo stop that somehow is locked that I haven't unlocked and there's a proto relic thing over here and we've got another fiend intel. I feel like this other stuff we can explore later. I gotta find where that camera is. Maybe let's see this. Gold saucer. Let's travel to the gold saucer. We'll kick this off. We'll kick off the story stuff. 
And then that way when we start the next stream, we'll be able to jump right into it. Here we go. The gold saucer welcome area. And now we got Vincent and Sid with us. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? Oh, is this going to be when he reveals the truth? To mention about the Temple of oh, the no, Ancients. no, no. I thought he was going to reveal who he really a is. Legend or a warning. Also, did the music uh -huh. change here? You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. <laughs> you said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did. He's like, uh, yeah, uh, but, uh... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Okay, off to go find Dio. Let's see. I'm assuming he's a little further in. Happy to be back. I love the gold saucer. I love the little Cactuar mascot over here too, dancing with the kids. Look at that. <laughs> Catch me if you can. I'm the Cactuar man. <laughs> run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the Cactuar man. Hey, what's going on, Solenia? Welcome to the stream. You're coming in towards the end of it, but welcome nonetheless. All right. Now, Dio's in this little corner. Speed square. Got an extra materia over here. Steadfast block. Here we go. Up the skywheel square. Now this isn't going to automatically put me into the Dio date. I mean, not the Dio date, the uh, the Gold Saucer date, right? Because I don't necessarily want to do that right now. That's like its own stream. But I guess if we're looking for Dio, Fantasy World, where is this? Find Dio. Let's see. Let's make our way up, and we'll see. All right. Let's see. Let me see. Skywheel Square. I'm not seeing Dio here yet. I am seeing Tifa. Oh, hey Cloud. Doesn't look like Dio's around here. Do any of them realize war is about to break out? Oh, this is your last opportunity to talk to everybody. Ooh, that makes sense. Because you need one last push before the date. Before you lock it in. I got it, I got it. For the longest time, I wanted to do everything. The live stream changed you. Planet. Convince people to stand up, take action with us. But it's like I always come up short. Always. No matter what I try, I'm in over my head. Tifa, no, don't worry about it. But knowing your limits is one of the keys to knowing yourself. Exactly, you gotta know your limits. You're not. And we're not the dumb kids who fell off Mount Nebel anymore. Exactly. We're not powerless. We're and we're not alone. alone. So don't ever stop trying, Tifa. Ever. You just gotta stick it out. Don't give up now. Okay. Thanks. I needed that. I like this little interaction. All right. But don't deepen your relationship too much, all right? We still gotta get to Aerith. Always come up short. All right, look for Dio and other squares. Yeah, all right, I don't wanna do the date just yet. All right, so let's, let's look for Dio and other squares. Let's try... Ghost Square? Okay. Thankfully, we got that fast travel that's going to take me all over the place. If I see any other items or things like that, I can go grab them. I can't believe it's already been an hour and a half. That, that flew. Vincent! Oh, of course he'll be in Ghost Square. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> that was quick. Dio's not here. Get out. All right. Uh, there we go. Very Vincent. Alright, Wonderman Square. Let's go. <laughs> I can't get over that. He didn't want to have a conversation. He's like, I'm not a party member yet. Don't worry about me till the next game. Alright, Wonderman Square. Let's see. 3D Brawler. I'm still not seeing Dio. See, I was thinking he might be over here because that's like when we first met him, we did that little fight. But I guess not. 
I like the Tom and Jerry Game Boy music that's playing in the background now, too. Also, totally random. Totally random. But you know what I was thinking of the other night? I was thinking of that song that played during the Salmon side quest where it's like the bow wow wow, bow wow wow. You're a good boy, Salmon. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow. <laughs> and how they just made that entire song for the dog for one side quest you're never going to see again. All right, here we go. Here's Barrett. Bad news. No sign of Dio whatsoever. Okay. While we're talking, did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? I did. Yeah. I like that he's having this little bit of a moment if of realization too, because he obviously wasn't with us last time, because he was being investigated for murder. Or maybe not. Maybe she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way. She have kept us entertained. She definitely would have. Yeah. We we have to see Jesse in the other world. We have to. Alright, by the way, Roger, here's a tip. Uh, make sure that if you see Aerith, talk to her last because it triggers the next story segment. It won't affect the date or anything, but it'll kick off the next segment. That is good to know. Very good to know. Battle Square. Oh, we can do some of that Coliseum stuff now probably as well. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. That might be a good place to... Battle Square. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. The dog music actually does come back on their side quest at least once. It does? Oh, that's good and to know. Battles. Oh, there's Aerith. All right, so don't talk to her yet. Wait, even if I don't talk to her, though, can I... Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, I didn't want it. Wait, uh-oh. It auto-started. Okay, so Don Corneo's in Cold Saucer now? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. Oh, this is going to be this game's tournament. So this is going to be what I thought was going to happen during the first Gold Saucer chapter. Aerith's inkling. Wait, can I can I go talk before we actually do this? Oh, no, it's saying you have to follow Aerith. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I screwed up. Here, let's just see where this is going to take me. Muscle head, Coliseum, red corner, and here's Dio. Greetings, Mr. Director. Hmm. He doesn't he look quite right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, if it isn't our friend. Yo, who beat you up? There's no way Corneo did that. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery. That the Turks are stronger than they Oh, look. the Turks are here. You should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. It was part of your collection, last we heard. I love the design of the Coliseum, man. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Technically, it's mine. Give Don't it back, you think please. That makes me its rightful owner. How sweet. Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. She'll prove it to you. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. But he's gonna make us fight that for it, no doubt. On one of course, here's the tournament. Here's the battle tournament. That's great though. I was I was hoping for something like this because I loved the tournament gauntlet that was in the first remake. Oh, I love this. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Get the music going. Oh, I love this. Corneo land. Dude, I can't believe we saw them again after all this time too. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. I can't believe they beat you up so bad. my lot in life. When you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. Don't worry, we'll handle it for you, Dio. We'll make sure it stays the gold saucer. Of course. 
I'll do it. I'll fight. Exactly. Aerith already hates Don Corneo. We already dressed up we win, we and beat up Don Corneo. Right. We're good. As we beat him once, we'll beat him again. My word. Then we're in. All right. Then we have ourselves a deal. Now, hopefully it doesn't immediately start right now. Because I obviously don't have time to go through a whole tournament right now. Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so this is where you'll rest up. You do the date. I see. So the next stream, then, will be the Coliseum and the date. Woo! That next one is going to be fire, man. We got some good stuff coming up, then. Rest at the Haunted Hotel and Fast Travel is available. Okay. Well, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Region map. Let's get out of here. Let's do some quick intel. Just while we're still here, before I wrap up, I want to get one other little thing. Let's go to this area right here with the fiends. Because I feel like there's something that I missed out on, and there's a big chunk of stuff. Buggy, here we go. Dude, I love having the ability to fast travel everywhere now. Makes this so nice. Yeah, that next stream is gonna be wild, man. Coliseum plus the gold saucer date. It's like two of the things I've been most looking forward to in this whole game. All right, we're gonna go to the Fiend Intel first. Here we go. Make our way over. Man, oh man, oh man. Dio was posing through the pain. He's a cool guy, I like Dio. He's one of my favorite new characters. All right, let's see. We don't need to fight the Chimera. Do we go down this way? Uh, no, not really. Plus, we got all, like, the treasure stuff we gotta do. There was, like, the One Piece Pirate King side mission thing that we didn't do yet. Desert Water Mate. Oh, this is a cash area? Uh, I don't see any treasure right now, but I'll be on the lookout. And there's the water. There's obviously a Moogle up there. Okay, let's drive around and see what we got. We're looking for treasure in this area? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Pop out of the buggy. There it is. The desert water main, okay. Here we go. When are you gonna be streaming next? It'll probably be tomorrow. The only reason I didn't stream yesterday was because it was my birthday. But I'll, I'll probably stream again tomorrow. I don't know what time necessarily. Uh, it really depends on what we end up doing. I think tomorrow morning uh, we're going to go out for breakfast. And then I'll have a little bit of a break before the evening. So I think I might do it in like the afternoon my time. Um, but I'm, I don't want to like give an exact time because I'm honestly not sure. But just make sure you're following. You'll get notifications. All right, here we go. Fireball blade. Let's go. Barrett's. Here we go, get this out of here. Maximum Fury. Here we go, Cloud. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it'll probably be it'll probably be afternoon tomorrow. Or it'll be late evening. Actually, you know what? It might be late evening tomorrow. It could be late. Moving on, then. Either way, we will definitely be live again tomorrow with Final Fantasy. Don't worry about it. All right. Um. Yeah, how do I get to that Moogle? See, I feel like you have to go through this little walkway to get here. You know what I also just realized? We did 8 out of 8 in Corel. Cameron is in the Junon region. This is why I couldn't find him. We can still end with the Queen's Blood today. We can level up our Queen's Blood. Let me go to World Map. Let me go to Junon. We can go to Cameron. This is why I couldn't find him. Because he wasn't in this area. He's here. Okay. Fast travel to the South Gate. Here we go. This is why I was looking all over. I'm like, why can't I find him? We've got a special divine thing over here as well. Here we go. This will level up our Phoenix Materia. 
fish into the world. So All right. See, I wasn't even thinking we would get to him. Okay, here we go. Phoenix Sanctuary. I also definitely have to tell Vanilla to include that Moogle bit we did today as part of the reaction compilation. Because that Moogle was way too difficult. That whole Moogle segment. Alright, here we go. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. This should be an easy one. Circle, X. X, circle. Cool. Easy. Circle, X. X, circle. Perfect. Synchronization complete. Phoenix just leveled up. Lovely. We needed to do this anyway. I thought we had already maxed out the Phoenix stuff. I feel like... Yeah, here we go. Another one. Here we go. Let's see. I hope you get to enjoy the date scene tomorrow and praying that you get Aerith. I gotta prepare for my Japanese class on Mondays around 5 p.m. and the class goes well from 6.30 to 8. And the drive back means I probably won't make it to the next stream. Well, you might. You might. Because if it's in the evening, I'm assuming if you're in Japan, it'll probably be earlier in the morning for you. Oh, you're Pacific time. You might not then. Unless I do it late. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned to all my social media, everybody, and I'll let you know exactly when. All right, here we go, Cameron. Let's do it. And Chadley's right over here as well. Cameron is in here in the crow's nest. We'll probably also automatically level up to the next level, considering the fact we've beaten so many other people in Queen's Blood by this point. Cameron, here we go. Crow's nest. Hello there, everybody. Hello. Michaela. Oh no. Okay, wait. This is a Cameron. All right, Michaela, we're gonna take you out real quick then too. What do I say? I say we're gonna destroy you. Here we go. Real quick, we've got Mind Flare. Ooh, new card. All right. Play. We got a good first hand. No razor. Very good. Arch Dragon. I'll place him. That'll boost up to two level threes. Wow, that's like the perfect first hand. Wow, look at this. Double three. You place that one. Very good. Because now I can do this and replace with my toad. Lock him out. Very good. He'll grab that one. Oh, he destroyed his own slot. That's weird. Uh, here. Boom. And then I obviously want to grab that bottom one, but I want him to grab the one up top. Which it doesn't seem like he's grabbing right now. Let's do this. Then I'll place him, take the other one if he doesn't place it there. Grab this across. Which, okay. Okay. Let me see. Lock him out on both. I'll get another three that'll take the bottom corner. I won't need to worry about that. Demonic variant. Will that take that one? Replace an ally and lower the power of allied enemy cards and affected tiles by this. Oh, but I don't want to... Okay, I don't want to lower that. Wait a minute. Um... Let's just lock him out over here, because then he can't do anything on any of those. And I could summon a bunch, because I already have Moogle Trio. That'll give me another one. He broke his own. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Uh... Okay, weird. I mean, he locked himself out. That's not what I was expecting at all. Do another three and two. He'll have to grab that second one. I already have a three up there. Fine. Did he take himself out? What was that? Right. Another one. I mean, we, we've won. There's no way that we don't win this one now. If right, we take the three. We got 20 in one row plus three. Wow. Destroying your own cards is a good strategy to avoid getting locked out and replace low point cards. True, but if you don't have good other cards to set up, it seems kind of like a waste, doesn't it? Like, look at this. 22-11. That's a complete shutout. This is probably the most we've ever gotten in one row in this game ever. Like, we're done. We don't need any more. Yeah, we got this. 
It went so quick, it went with the point tally. Wow. All right, there we go. Cloud 36, let's go after Cameron. We got a new card, Mind Flare. Lower the power of allied enemy cards in the tile. It, it affects too many, I think, for me, though. I don't want to do that. Player's defeated 16. All right, where is Cameron? Oh, here he is, here he is, here he is. Nope, that's Nell. So this one's Cameron. Okay. Cameron. Okay. Is he up on, like, on a hill by himself in the middle of these ruins? Okay, I mean, we got the item. Thermalize. Oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, we got another item. Cool. No, you won't. I mean, he might end up being powerful, but I don't... Wait, did I get stuck? That was weird. All right, here we go. Mithril ore. Take him out. Finally, someone who. Cameron, you're going down. Queen's blood champion. Scaled mountains. You haven't done anything, Cameron. You're getting taken out. I'm prepared. Challenge to a match. Yes, because now we're gonna level up our queen's blood level. All right, here we go. Midgard summer. Oh. Ooh, and that's a three that, oh, that might have to replace Ifrit, actually. Wow, I didn't think I was ever going to replace my Ifrit card, and yet here we are. That's a great first hand, too. I'll take it. Boom. Give me a two. Riot Trooper will go and replace. Then I'll put the Chocobo up there. I'll replace with my Frog. Fantastic first hand, man. Knock that one out. I'll go in with the Arch Dragon to boost that up. He'll have to go for that middle one. I'll replace it with the Gigantitoad. Okay. Uh, what are you doing, buddy? Cameron. Buddy. What are you doing? Okay, you're getting shut out again that entire row. Because I want him to go for that one so then I can boost this up. And lock him out. There we go. That's seven. One is that row. He literally can't do anything. Fantastic. Here we are. Give me that. And they were hyping him up to be the next big thing. Dude, come on now. Double Moogles. Put my little powerful Moogle buddies down there. Here we go. We got another one. Moogle Mage. Let's do... Our Arch Dragon. Should we be particularly nasty and then replace this and put our Gigantitoad there? Or even go for some of our other ones? Like another one. Boost this. <laughs> 12. And then the Mystic Golem. Yeah, we're shutting this guy down completely. Look at this. Cameron, we've been training too much, all right? You don't stand a chance. We destroyed him. Absolutely, positively destroyed him goodbye Cameron I love Queen's Blood man this game rules Rebirth rules that's my favorite game this is up there one of my favorite games of all time and we got Mid Midgard Summer oh ooh this is wrong this is all wrong Nani? I don't understand it was just supposed to be a game I'm assuming this is the next guy we're gonna have to beat then to level up our Queen's Blood game. There it is again. In that voice. What? Could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. There's no way Sephiroth is gonna be our final Queen's Blood opponent. Could you imagine if the final boss of this game is Sephiroth in a card game? That would be crazy. Oh God, what have I done? I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You're getting Yu-Gi-Oh vibes? To be fair, this guy does look like he's gonna get 
pushed into the shadow realm. You okay? Weird. Okay. Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator Balmon. of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange This voice. is very Yu-Gi-Oh! He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again Stop. until his death. Hmm. Maybe There's his ghost no is going to be the final Queen's Blood opponent? Their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. To be fair, it is very good. This is like the one thing I never expected to be obsessed with in this game, and now I absolutely love it. I've been doing every little Queen's Blood side mission. My rank increased. I'm level 5 now. We probably have enough to get to the next one, too. We'll fight the last 4-star in this area. Congratulations, Cloud. Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corral. Novalon in North Having Corral. That's great, because we're going back to Corral anyway. I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Okay, we'll probably do that on the next stream then. I'm a. Oh, oh, no. Okay, he's in a different area. All right, let's take out the one other person that's still in this area. In the crow's nest. Climb our way back up. Because I know there's one other opponent over here, right? That was on the far left seven. Okay. Wasn't that person just a level four a little while ago? Or did we just automatically level up to seven? Here we go. Guitar player. You with an agency? Here to sign me? Absolutely not, Neil. I'm just here to beat you in Queen's Blood. <laughs> I'm good. Savage! So you're not a talent scout or a fan. No. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil. And I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. Uh, sure what you are, buddy. Want to play against a future celebrity? I'd rather fight the dog again. Alright, defeat players and defeat the keeper. Yeah, let's challenge. Let's go. Let's go. Crystalline Crab Flame Trooper. Oh. Oh, that seems like a really good one star. That might have to be a replacement for our deck, too. I feel like we have a really solid deck as is, but now we're getting to a point where I'm getting all these extra cards that work well with each other, the replacements, the three stars. I didn't replace Ifrit in my deck either. I have that Midgard Summer now. Oh, remind me to do that. I screwed up. Put it towards the middle. Get of the crab. He'll take that one. I'll replace which Gigantitoad. Whichever other one he takes. Down here. Okay. Fine with me. Level that up. I need him to take one of the ones that I've got currently. Those crabs are just so strong. Here we go. Lock him out again. Okay. Lock him out this. I'll have to grab that one in the corner. Then I can replace and weaken. I still got five, so I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Mystic Golem plus two. Wow. Riot Trooper will boost the other one. Let's go into ten. We're still going to destroy you. Two and two. Here we go, Moogle. Perfect. Trio. I probably should have put the other one there, but here, I'll do this. There we are. Three. And then we're going to place that as a replacement on that one. Boost him up a little more. Let's just end this quick then. Shiva. Call it a day. Goodbye, Neil. And actually, we can upgrade one more time after this, because we're definitely going to win this match, and we know exactly where the other guy is to level up. So we'll level up twice in Queen's Blood today, then. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Cloud, perfect. Victory, we got a new card. Remind me. Thank you. Replace Ifrit. Thank you, Clax. Thank you. I'm going to replace something else with a Flame Trooper, too. All right. Queen's Blood. Here we go. And then we're going to go card deck. Card deck. Edit deck. Replace Ifrit. And I think we're going to replace a Flame Trooper as well. Ah, no. You know what? No, I am. I'm going to get rid of one of them. 
Flame Trooper for three. Where is it? Flame Trooper. And where is it? I just saw it. Midgard Summer, right? Chocobo Jockey. I forgot that we even have that as a card. Where's Midgard Summer? I know we got him earlier. There he is. There he is. There he is. Three. Okay. Perfect. Now let me grab this stuff. And then we're going to fast travel. Get out of here. Region map. Navalon is in Corel, right? Navalon. And it's Northern Corel. I'm pretty sure is what they said. Level 5. Yep, right here. Perfect. Navalon. We fast travel. We sure can. Look at this. Leveling up so quickly. Man, for being such a short stream, we really... We progressed a lot. Holy mackerel. So, you have begun to fulfill your potential. Thus long have I awaited this day. Let's do it. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. I took your measure the Oh, I thought he was naked for a second. Time. I was like, wait a minute. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalon of the Thousand Eyes. It is this clarity which shows me all. Even that which some wish to keep hidden. You exude a powerful yet troubled. I also love that Tifa's watching us in the back. It makes you the perfect opponent. Alright, we're taking you out. You're our final boss for the stream today, man. And don't you dare hold anything back. Navalon! Let's go. 18. Keeper of the Crew War. What's his specialty card? Bognadrana. When an enemy card is played from their hand, raise the card's power by one. Oh. Oh, that seems good if you can set that up early, actually. I don't know if it's good enough to replace anything that's currently in my deck, but that does seem pretty good. Uh, this is fine. I could work with this for the beginning. Let's do Flame Trooper. But I gotta watch out for that one. That means I shouldn't be placing a ton of cards willy-nilly. Oh, I should have done the bottom one. I screwed up there. Got an ogre already set up. Okay. Google Trio. Let's do that. I'll boost the top and then boost the other one down. That that works for me. Lock him out on that end. Uh, I can't quite... I don't want to take that one yet either. I don't want to boost him accidentally. I don't want to defeat him. I guess I could do this and then replace with my toad and wipe out that row. Because I have a Gigantitoad here. And then, yes, if he gets closer, I can steal that. Cool. All right, yeah, let's do this. There we go. Because then he has to grab that one and I'll take that one from him. Cool. That'll work. That'll work. Five. One. It'll give me a two. I don't want to give him the two automatically, though. And I want to make sure... Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. Wipe him out. He's got to place it on the bottom. I took out mine. That's fine. This, oh, this is actually pretty perfect. Because then I'll take this one out. Seven. We'll do Heat Seeker. Let's do Chocobo Bonus. Riot Trooper. And then we'll replace the bottom two, because we have two replacements. Gigantitoad. And Grand Horn. There we go. And Grand Horn. Six. Still wasn't enough to take him down. But that's fine. Pass. End the match. We still beat Navalon handily first try. No problem at all. He's down. Yeah, Moogle Trio. 
baby chocobo, those crystalline crabs with one, and those gigantitoads and replacement cards are just incredible. I feel like people focus too much on the threes. Oh, here we go. More of the guy that created it. Ladrell. Is Ladrell Balmont? And I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. Which means that this nightmare is. I was not expecting a Yu-Gi-Oh! esque lore in Queen's Blood with this morning stream, and yet here we are. I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> I'm just so curious, like, what all of this means. You hear her too. Her? Is it gonna be like Genova? That would be neat. She's calling me, commanding me. And then it turns out like he's one of the robed men or something. That would be cool. She's made me her prisoner. Her cursed guard, my shackle. The end is nigh. Okay. Or perhaps this is only the beginning. The Shadow Blood Queen is. Fitting name, the Shadow Blood Queen. Ah, let me guess. You have dreamt the dream of the Drell Balmon too. I did. What do you know about it? Mm, only rumors and hearsay. Players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events to add another wrinkle. Some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally Ooh. violent death. That's not good. People are calling this the curse of the drow. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, <clears throat> though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the cards, then remain vigilant. Or it may lead to your undoing. That's not a good sign. Blood Captain level 7 now. Man, oh man. Congratulations. You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. How wow. high does this go? Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a soft Oh, he's update. gonna be our next he final boss? He resides in the Dust Bowl. I advise you to challenge I'm assuming we have to fight a bunch of the Queen's Blood opponents before we can actually get to him, though. Oh, six. Okay. All right. Well, what we're going to do, I am going to, real quick, just so I remember where we were. Let's go to the region map. I'm going to go to... Oh, we're in Corel already. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save right here. We're going to end the stream. That was a solid two hours. We got through a lot of the Chapter 12 side quest stuff. We leveled up three different times in Queen's Blood. We finally got the Alexander Materia. Like, we'd made a lot of progress for this being like an early morning surprise little Final Fantasy stream. So thank you once again to everybody who came through, all the viewers, all the new followers, all the subscribers, greatly appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow. I don't know exactly which time, and I think tomorrow we're finally gonna do the Gold Saucer date and we're going to do this Don Corneo Coliseum thing. I'm level 41 with 40 hours of playtime. And we still got so much left in the game. I'm loving it. I'm loving streaming it. I hope you guys are loving it too. And again, remember, all these VODs are also on the VOD channel as well in addition to Twitch. So thank you once again, everybody, for coming through today. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.